Okay, here we go. Who's going to pull the pin? Cross the line, they come. Biaggi holding him off. The gap, 0 0.192. Absolutely nothing. Corsa lost ground then. Yes, he did. I think he's just come to his senses. We're on the last lap. I'm in third. Points. Biaggi, you can see the bike moving around. Harga's and... certainly not thinking that. No, he's not running himself up. Don't <laughs> go. Look at this. No, but he's going to have a go there, surely. And they head down towards the old hairpin. Harga's looking definitely as though he's going to try and make a move. He had a look there on the last lap, but there's not enough room. But Biaggi's at max there. You can see the back end of the bike just moving a little bit. And Max is so smooth normally. And well, they have a go at McLean's. Here they go. Through Schwantz. Up the hill. He's not close enough. His strong, Harga's strong point is the final couple of corners. He's ever going to have a go into the S's and hopefully run them both wide. Because then he gets to have a go again at Melbourne hairpin. And third time lucky at Goddard's. But Max has been so strong. But will Max run wide at Melbourne? Well, that's a yeah, exactly. Now he's oh. at pressures on him. He's done it a few times before, and certainly watch Harga's him stay on the, that side of the track because it makes Harga go around the long way. And he's actually got a bike length gap. Yeah, he's doing it in style. He's holding off Noriyuki Harga. The fans want well, either one to win really, because if Tosin can't, they want one of these two too. He ran a few inches deep into there. Actually, he wasn't as nice and tidy into the S as he would like. Now this is the telling bit. Will he keep it tight? Yes does keep it tight and this is all on the last corner good drive from Haga he's got one last chance at Goddard can he do it he's certainly looking as though he's gonna have a look can't do it Biaggi will he run wide he goes yes. wide here he comes Haga's gonna do it he gets yes, the inside yes, yes. Haga's gonna beat him to the line what <laughs> an incredible finish to that <laughs> Noriyuki Haga waits That's... till the very last two seconds of the race <laughs> to take the lead and take the victory they cannot oh. believe it Harga does it at Donington. Well, the man who rides like Fred Merkel has just done a world championship performance. Fred, you've got to be proud of that one. Oh, man. And Max, I mean, squaring the corner off is one thing, but that's not squared enough. That's giving the race away. Max, Max is, look, look at the body it. language of Biaggi. Yeah. Biaggi it's didn't like, even oh. need to get good drive out of there because the start finish line's at the beginning of the lap. Oh. He could have rode half throttle. To be honest, I mean, you know, that, I mean, Harga did, I mean, yeah, it was a good move, but. Basically, he was gifted it. Biaggi's he mistake. Was gifted it. Yeah, for sure. No, it was no move. He wasn't trying <laughs> anything. He was... He'd sell for second at that point. Max made a mistake. Oh. So he didn't run wide at Melbourne. It was Goddard's. Unbelievable. Wow, what a finish to that one. And I think someone at the beginning of the race predicted that one of the Yamahas would win. I'll tell you what, James Tosin was obviously putting a hex on him for, yeah. <laughs> for that last lap. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been points equal exactly. at the top. Yeah. But the big man at the moment, here he is. And as always, hey. the Valentino Rossi of our championship. <laughs> <laughs> always got a bit of a surprise on his hands. I remember when Bayliss had his Superman uniform, he had his own surprise when he won at Brands Hatch last year. But that wig says it all. Fred, what do you think of that? That's awesome. You thought he'd disappear, but he just went into makeup, eh? <laughs> he did, and look, he's got <laughs> bow tie as well. That's Bobo class. the clown. That's class, utter class. <laughs> what is he wearing? He was definitely saving it for a special occasion. Well, wasn't I mean, he? I'll be interested to see the story. I hear the story, and I hope he does tell Cal what the story is on that. Because, uh, like I said, in Rossi's time, it was there was always something behind it. He was doing skittles the other week. <laughs>